Did you know your Google Home can remind you to work out or turn on the TV when you're ready to relax or make your room brighter in the morning if you need help waking up? Here are five ways you can get more out of the Google Assistant built into your Google Smart Speaker, your Android phone, or your smart display. FYI, I'm gonna be saying the wake words for Google Assistant a lot. So you might wanna mute your own Google Smart Speaker or Google Smart Display so I don't inadvertently wake them up. Number one, create custom commands. Even without you intervening, Google will respond to a wide variety of questions and commands. Hey Google, Wubba Lubba Dub Dub. Morty, let's get swifty. <sighs> Pretty dope, right fellow kids? But let's say you want something very specific, like a timer for brushing your teeth, or you want specific lights to turn on and a playlist to play when you're ready to work out. Here's where Google's routines come in handy. You can create your own command. Open the Google Home app, tap routines from the main page, then manage routines. Notice there are a handful of ready-made options, but let's make our own. Hit add a routine, then you can create the command you want. Tell the assistant what you want Google to do, then you can add playlists. Let's do this. Hey Google, it's workout time. So to set the mood, I'm gonna have these lights turn on so it's nice and bright. The fan's gonna be on to keep me cool as I'm working hard. The blinds are gonna open so that the world can see this majestic workout and Music's playing to set the mood. Here we go, let's do some push-ups. Yeah, okay. That's, that's enough of that. Hey Google, stop. Plenty of, of work out there. That was a um, lot, lot of work, very majestic. Number two, use Google as a remote control. <sighs> Time to relax. So Google can control your TV too. I don't even need to reach for the remote anymore. Hey Google, play Twin Peaks on the main TV. Okay, Twin Peaks from Netflix, playing on main TV. Ooh, mysterious. To make this work, you either need a compatible smart TV or you can get one of these Chromecast video dongles for only 35 bucks at most electronic stores. Sync your TV to your Google account using the Google Home app. Next, sync your streaming services. You might have done this already when first setting up your new Google Home. If not, here's where to find it. Tap the letter in the upper right hand corner of the app, then go to Assistant Settings. Go to Services, then Videos and Photos. Sign in with your account like your Netflix account. One last thing, you might need to change a setting on your TV so that Google can actually turn it on. That setting is called CEC or Consumer Electronics Control and it's usually off by default. So check the settings on your TV, here's where we found it on ours. And once that's done, you're good to go. And not a moment too soon. I needed a break after that really intense workout. Number three, shop. Let's say after you relaxed and watched some TV that you got bored and made intricate sculptures of toilet paper for some reason, don't worry about it. This means something. Whatever the reason, you're now pretty short on a necessary item. Well, good news, you can get that from your Google Assistant as well. I mean, you'll still have to wait for delivery, so don't wait until you're fully out. Anyway, you can shop through Google Shopping, which used to be called Google Express. Google has a lot of partners, including Target, Best Buy, and Walmart. To shop, you'll need to authorize Google Assistant to make payments and set up a payment method in the app. When you do this, pick security measures you're comfortable with. You can verify a purchase with a PIN code that you set up. You can also verify a purchase with your voice. Be careful with this one though. Voice recognition is easily fooled. Here's producer Chris Monroe. Hey Google, order toilet paper. Here are the most popular results for toilet paper on Google Shopping. That is not what hey, I sound. Hey Google, what's my name? Your name is Andrew. It sure is. His name is not Andrew. My name is Andrew. Dang it, Google. Fortunately, you can always go back and change settings if you decide you're suddenly uncomfortable with the way one is turning out. Once you find the right setting for your comfort level, you can cross another chore off of your list while never leaving your favorite spot. Number four, find your phone. 
Okay, I've been hanging out for a while, and I'm finally ready to go on a grand adventure and leave the house. Only problem, I don't know where my phone is. It's not in the couch cushions, and I'm stumped. Thankfully, Google has me covered. Hey Google, find my phone. All right, your phone should be ringing now. And now, I don't need to keep tearing my place apart because I left my phone in the fridge when I was grabbing a drink earlier. Fortunately, Google can do this even if your phone is on silent. It does need to be on and it needs to have a connection. You also have to have location enabled. You also need the Find My Device app. This works with iPhones too, but not if they're silenced. For iPhones, you'll need to head to the privacy settings in the Google Home app. Hit phone, then add recovery phone. Walk through the next steps, and then Google can call your iPhone if it's lost. Hello, Google. Yeah, it's me, Andrew. No, Chris can't come to the phone. What do you, what do you mean you like his version of me better? Hello? Number five, schedule commands. Finally, I love routines so much that we're going back in because you can schedule them. Have your smart lights fade up in the morning before your alarm. Have your place lock your deadbolts at night. Set a regular reminder to work out or order supplies. Have your smart lights turn on or off when you're on vacation to fool intruders. Let's go back to that same setup menu for routines. This time at the top, instead of adding a command, add a time and day. Again, you can go through and add assistant actions, play a podcast or music, and cause Google to spring into action on your schedule. Your smart home can be so smart that it doesn't even need your commands anymore, which makes me feel left out a little, I guess. Um, so I guess that's it. It makes me feel kind of unnecessary. And Google likes Chris better anyway, so I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'll get, I'll get out of the way. I'll get out of the way. Thanks for playing. Don't have hurt feelings or anything. Again, my name's Andrew Gebhardt, and if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. I need people to look at me. Please, please. Seriously though, for every like that you send, I will eat a Carolina Reaper, seeds and all, stem and all. If you've got some Reaper leaves, throw that in there too. Find me at Twitter at GebAndrew and hold me accountable. Make me do it.